All right, using substitution, I want to find where these two graphs cross. I'm looking for an answer. X, Y. Here's how you do it. If you have two equations, what I actually can do is, do you see for this first equation, Y equals negative X plus 7. I'm going to take, since Y equals this, I'm going to take this and plug it into the second equation for Y. Y is this. Y is also this. So I'm going to take this, because it's equal to Y, and plug it in for that Y. You take one and plug it in the other. So again, it was Y equals 3X plus 3. But instead of Y, what am I going to plug there? X. The negative X plus 7. So I plug negative X plus 7 in for the Y. Brought it and plugged it in. Now, those parentheses really aren't necessary here. But I did it as more of a place value to put it in. Now, I want to solve this equation. So I have negative x plus 7 equals 3x plus 3. Can I solve this now? Since I took this and plugged it in for y, can I now solve this new equation? Yes. I can solve this equation. Put a line down the middle. You don't have to put a line down the middle, but it helps for organization. I'm going to move the x's over here. So I'm going to minus the 3x over. It gives me negative 4x plus 7 equals 3. Then, how do you get the x by itself? You minus the 7 over. That leaves you negative 4 over here. 3 and negative 7 is negative 4. How do you get rid of that negative 4 in the front of the x? If we divide by negative 4, doesn't that cancel? <coughs> And we now have, what's x? One. one. Do you see this right here? I found x. x is one. So again, I took one equation, plugged it in the other, solved it. Now, could I take this x and plug it into one of these two equations? Which of these looks easier? Let's take the first equation. And I'm going to plug one in. I'm going to take this and plug it in for x right there. So I have y equals negative, and I plug 1 in. Do you see I took the 1, plug it in for x? What do I get? 6. One six. These two graphs would cross at 1, 6. That's the solution. We didn't even have to graph. Let's do it again. For this particular problem, I have two graphs. I could graph them and find out where they cross. Now, I'm going to take this. Why is this? Now, where am I going to plug that? Now, where am I going to plug this? What does this equal? This equals y. So I'm going to take this and plug it right there for y. x plus 2 is y. So I'm going to take 3x minus blank. 3x minus y equals 6. And I'm going to replace the y with this x plus 2. 3x minus y equals 6. I replace the y value with x plus 2. Now, I now have 3x minus x. So you're kind of distributing this negative. That becomes a minus x and a minus 2. You kind of got to distribute that negative. These two combine to give you 2x. And now we're solving. Add the 2 over. 2x equals 8. And then divide by what? Divide by 2. x equals 4. 
I got half my answer. I have four. I want to find y for x for y. I want to find y. X is four. I need y. Now, which of these two equations would be easier to plug a four into? Isn't the first equation pretty simple? If I take my first equation, this is actually pretty cool. Because watch, if I just take my x value right here, can I just drop it right there? Take my x, plug it in. 4 plus 2 is and a 6. 4, 6. If I was to graph both these, they cross at 4, 6. So again, I took what y equals, plugged it into the other equation, solved it, took my answer, plugged it into one of these two, whichever one's easier. Here I took one of my equations, plugged it in the other, solved it, took my answer, plugged it in one of two equations, solved it. The last one, are either of these solved for a variable? No. I need to take one of these equations and make it either y equals or x equals. So watch this. I'm going to take my second equation and I'm going to move this over. Watch carefully. I took the second equation. Now, can I take this? Does this equal x? Yeah. Can I take this and just bring it up here and stick it in for x right there? Doesn't x equal this, so can I just bring it up and put it right there? So I have 2x plus 5y equals negative 5. That's my first equation right here. And what did I say I'm plugging in for x? What's going in? x equals this, so we're going to take it and plug it right there. 1 minus 3y. I plug that in right there for x. Can I solve this for y? Yeah. Remember, we're looking for a coordinate, x, y. I'm going to find y here. Can I distribute? Yeah, that's 2. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. y. Bring down the plus 5y. Now to solve this, can I combine these two? Mm -hmm. That gives me negative 1y. Okay. I'm going to get the y by itself, so I need a minus this 2 over. And then I got to divide by what? To get the y by itself, I had to divide by negative 1. y is 7. Am I done? No, don't I have to find x? Now, wouldn't this be the easiest equation to deal with? If I just take x equals 1 minus 3y, couldn't I come and just take this answer, stick it right there, and get x equals 1 minus 3 times 7, which is 1 minus 21? What's, what's x? Negative 20? So, my answer, where they cross, these two graphs would cross at negative 27. That's my x value, that's my y value. It's called substitution. You're taking one equation, plugging in the other, solving it.